If you follow the 10 tips I'm going to give you in this video, I guarantee you will never ever again scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll to find the Canva design you are looking for. If you're like me, your Canva is probably a bit of a mess and all of my Canva accounts are kind of the same. They are disorganized. So I decided let's do something about this. I know a lot of you guys struggle with the same thing, like how to get organized in Canva, how to create different folders and sort your assets and your projects and your designs into these different folders. So that is exactly what we are going to do today. I have 10 tips that I have prepared for you. But before we jump into the 10 tips, I I want to address two different things, two important things with you. The first one is who can actually use and create Canva folders. I'm going to talk about folders a lot in this video, so I want you to really understand if you can actually create these folders. So I am here on the canva.com slash pricing landing page which is the page that compares Canva Free, Canva Pro, and Canva Enterprise. So if I scroll down all the way to storage, I can see right here line comparing the free and the pro offer in terms of folders. And I can see that Canva Free users will only be able to create two folders, which is not gonna be very useful to create this massive organization like I'm going to demonstrate in this video. On the other hand, Canva Pro users will have an unlimited amount of folders, which is going to be much more useful in our case right here. So just be aware of that. If you're a free user, it's gonna be difficult to follow this tutorial because you can only create two folders. Now, if you still want to follow along, you can use the affiliate link that we have in the description to try Canva Pro for free for 45 days. The second thing I would like to discuss with you before we start the video is what can be stored or what can be saved into a folder? Well, you can actually store four types of things, four types of assets into your Canva folders. The first one will be designs, okay? So you create an Instagram post, you create a Facebook banner when it's done, you can uh, save that design directly into your folder. The second type of assets is photos. Okay, so you can browse the Canva library and find photos or you can upload your own photos and that can be stored into your folder. The third type of asset would be your graphics. So all the elements, the stickers, etc., etc., they can be stored into the folders. And then finally, you can also store video clips. So videos you upload or videos you find in the Canva library. So these are the four type of assets you can actually save into a folder. What you cannot save into a folder at this stage is your templates. You cannot go and find the template that you like in Canva and save it into a specific folder cannot do that. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's start with the 10 tips. Tip number one is to decide on a system that works for you. What do I mean by a system that works for you? Well, for that, let's come back to one of my Canva accounts right here. So this is my team run the account that I share with six other people and it's a bit of a mess, okay? It's my fault because what you see here is only my stuff. But if you click on your project, so the second tab right here, you should see pretty much the structure or the organization of your Canva account. So this is what I see. I have different tabs right here, and this one is the all tab, okay? So let's click on the folders tab, so to see all the different folders that I have. And so these are all the different folders. You will see three folders right here, purchased, start, and uploads. These are the default folders, okay? So these are the folders that everyone will have and you cannot change them, you cannot modify them, you can use them, but you cannot change them. And then I have, I would say about 30 different folders right here that I have created among the time that I was using this account and there is no real organization to this. So creating a system that works for you would mean a hierarchy or a structure that would make sense to the way you are using your Canva account. So this is exactly what I did. I took some time to really think, what am I doing with my Canva account? What kind of projects am I working on? And then I figured that a system that would really work for me would be to have at the highest level, the type of business, like the business that I'm actually using. Because I'm using this Canva account for different businesses. I'm using it for Fairtrade Connection, my nonprofit. I'm using it for Team Rondi, our YouTube channel. I'm using it for my personal use, for personal projects. I'm using it for creating tutorials, etc., etc. So for me, 
the first level, the highest level of my system would be the type of business. And then the second level of my organization would be the type of project. Okay, so let's take an example. Let's say the business, so level one, the highest level is my online courses. Okay, my course business. And then level two would be the Canva master course. So that is the name of the course. So I will have level one, run his courses, level two, Canva master course. And then maybe level three would be the subdivisions of this particular project, which is the Canva master course. So I would have maybe section one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to the final number of sections that I have in the course. And then within the sections, I could have, for example, my assets, I could have my presentations with my slides, I could have videos, B-rolls, etc. So basically that would be my structure. I will have the type of business, the name of the project, and then the particularities of these projects. So think about a system that works for you. This is very important. Okay, now that I came up with a system that I think will work for me, we're going to jump to my tip number two, which is to jump into your projects right here and create the structure of your folders. So let's do this. Let's take this mess of an organization that you see right there and turn that into an organized structure that will follow the system I just mentioned before. I'm going to start creating some new folders. For that, very easily locate the plus button, click here, click on new folder, okay, and you can name that folder. So I'm going to start by uh, Ronnie's courses. Okay, Ronnie's courses, create the folder. Uh, it doesn't have to be available for Team Rondi right now. Okay, so I have Ronnie's courses. What else do I need? I need another folder for Fairtrade Connection. So let's create that. Fairtrade Connection, create that folder. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna speed up the video while creating all of these folders and show you the final results. All right, I am done creating my top level folders. And yes, it still looks like a mess. I agree to that, but bear with me because what I'm going to show you right now is how to move your content into these different folders that we have created to kind of stay and stick with these high level folders only under my main folder tab right here. So let's do that. Let's click on folder and I'm going to show you, for example, I'm going to enter the 16 by nine presentation right here. I have three different projects. So what you can do is to select all of them and then move these three presentation, three assets all at once by clicking on this little button right here that says move to folder. So I'm gonna do that, go to my projects and select the, uh, the appropriate folder, the high level folder, which should be Ronnie's uh, presentations. So I have a folder presentations and talks. So I'm gonna click here and move to folder. Okay, now everything has been moved and this folder right here is empty. So maybe I can delete that folder by clicking on the three little dots right here, I can delete that folder. And that's one done and I have a bunch of others to go. So I'm going to speed up the video one more time. You've seen the fundamentals of moving things around and you can select multiple assets and move them all at once. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now for the rest of these folders. And there you go, guys. This is the final outcome of my restructuring, reorganizing. You can see my three default folders, purchased, start and upload. I told you these ones, you cannot move them. And then I have these few folders. I have assets. I have fair trade connection, my nonprofit. I have presentations and talks. I have Ronnie's courses, Ronnie's personal, Ronnie's webinars and tutorials. So now everything fits under these high level folders. So this is what I wanted to show you. This is actually step number two, creating that structure within the your project uh, area right here. Now I know that this system is going to work for me because it does make sense for the type of views that I make of Canva. And if I click on one of these high level folders right here, for example, assets, Let's click on that and we will see that I have subfolders that are cool shapes, backgrounds, icons, drop shadows, bitmojis, gradients, and runny no background. So I highly encourage you to figure out the system that works for you that is the base of organizing your Canva account.
Step number three would be to use your folders from within the Canva editor. So for that, we need to get into the Canva editor. So I'm going to start a blank Instagram post right here. And I want to show you where you can find your folders. So you will have to look into your side panel right here. This panel we call the object panel. So look here and try to locate a tab that says folders. And if you don't see folders right here, click on the more button and you should see an icon right here that says folder. So if you click here, you will see all of your different folders. And in my case, I see my high level folders. Okay, so I see Fairtrade Connection, Presentation, Run His Courses, Run His Personal. So if I click on Run His Courses, for example, I can see the 2022 Canva Master Course. If I click here, I can see all of my organization here. If I click on see all, I see all the sections of my course. So if I need to access a visual that I know is part of section one of the course, I can just click on section one. And then from here, I will see the different lectures in section one, okay? If I click on the three little dots here, I can see the title. So this is section one, lecture five, section one, lecture four, et cetera, et cetera. So section one, lecture one, Let's click on that. I can see 32 pages. Okay, and here I have my 32 slides of my section one. So it is actually super easy for me to go fetch some documents that I have stored into specific folders. Now, let's say I want to access the assets that I have been organizing. So same here, I can simply close this tab right here, go back to my folders and search for my asset folder. So my asset folder is where I will organize my cool shapes, backgrounds, icons, etc. So let's say, for example, I want to access a cool shape that I've saved. Uh, let's say this one, then there you go. I know exactly where it is and I know exactly what I need to do to go find this element that I've stored into this specific folder. So use and recall your folders from within the Canva editor. This will help you save a bunch of time. My tip number four is to save every single new design you create in Canva into its correspondent folder, okay? So once you have created that organization, that structure, you'd better be using it. So let's say here I have created this uh, profile picture. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's say this is my brand new profile picture. I'm super proud of it. Uh, and I'm ready to start using this, okay? So the design is completed and I have to keep that design somewhere, okay? So I will start by giving it a title. So I would say 2022 profile picture, okay? And I can put some more information. That's the yellow with pink. Uh, circle. So I made sure I write the title of this design in a specific manner to be describing. And I think in terms of search of keywords, what could I be typing in order to find this design, this project later on, maybe in six months. Okay. So always think about this when you put a title to your design. Okay. So I have my title, but what I can do is to use the file button right here and to find an item right here that says save to file. Folder. So if you click here, Canva will ask you, where do you want me to save this? So go back to your structure and find, um, for example, I'm going to store this in Ronnie's personal. Let's say I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call that profile pictures, profile pictures. Okay. So create the folder and add that to my folder. Okay. Design added to profile pictures. I can go to folder. So let's go to this folder and there you go. I can see that my design has been saved in profile pictures, which is under Ronnie's personal. You can see here the, what we call the breadcrumbs. So under your project, Ronnie's personal profile pictures and I can see my title that I just gave to this document. So that is my tip number four to always save your new design into their corresponding folders. Moving on to tip number five, which is to create new folders to save your favorite graphics, photos, videos, stickers, or all sorts of elements you come across while using Canva. So let's continue our design, our project here. I'm designing this uh, profile picture. And while doing so, I came across under the elements, uh, let's say I was searching for some sunglasses. Okay, sunglasses. 
filtered by graphics. And I found some cool sunglasses here that I've been using in my design. For example, these ones right there. I want to save that. So you can save any of the elements you come across. You remember, you can save photos, videos, stickers, graphics. So these four kinds of assets four kinds of assets you can save into your folders. So let me show you how, okay? So once you find the uh, piece of element you want to keep here, click on the three little dots right here and you can add to folder. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that. Again, you will need to specify where you want to save that. So your project, I know I want to save that into my assets. Okay, so cool shapes, background icons, drop shadows. I don't see elements right here or graphics. So what I'm going to do is to create a new folder by clicking on the create new and I'm going to name this um, graphics. Graphics, okay, add to new folder. And now every time I come across an interesting graphic or element, I can save that into my specific folder. Okay, so I could have even renamed this folder still graphic. So I can go back and change that. Okay, so let's go back to my folders, my assets, and I should see graphics. Okay, and I'm gonna rename that still graphics. Okay, rename the folder. Why? Because I can also come up some interesting graphics like this one right here. You see cool brown sunglasses, but this is a sticker. So I'm going to add this to a folder, find my assets, okay? And then in my assets, now I have the still graphics, I can create a new one, and I'm gonna call that animated stickers. Okay, add to the new folder. So by being granular like this, it's going to be very easy for me later on to come back to the right folder and find that graphic, still graphic, animated graphic, video, or a photo, I'm gonna know exactly where they are. So this is super useful and also will allow me to kind of remember where things are, okay? For example, these kind of uh, stoner sunglasses right here that we see in a lot of memes, I want to keep that pixel glasses. Okay, so I'm gonna save that to my project to my assets, to my graphics, okay, move here. So now every time you come across some interesting graphics, you can store them into the appropriate folder to use later. Let's move on to tip number six. Remember how I told you you cannot save templates into a folder? Well, there is a little work around this and this is actually my tip number six. Leverage or take advantage of your start folder to save your templates. Okay, let me show you what I mean. There is a folder under your project that is going to be called start. Okay, this is by default, free users will have the start folder as well. So let's click on it. And you can see here for me, I have a bunch of different things here. None of this really matters to me anymore. So what I'm going to do is to quickly delete everything in that folder, okay? So for that, I'm going to simply unstar everything here. Unfortunately, I cannot unstar them all at the same time. Just gonna quickly unstar all of this and there now my start folder is completely empty so let's head over the templates library this time okay so i'm here browsing for templates let's say i'm looking for website templates okay so i'm gonna type in website i'm gonna click on the website button right here and start browsing for different templates uh, and trying to see one that i could probably work on or use as an inspiration for later. I remember I've been using this one. So I'm gonna star this template right here. I'm gonna star another template. I think I've been using something similar to this one as well. Yes, I'm gonna star this one. Let's star a third one. Yes, I remember using this one as well in a previous tutorial. So I have starred three different templates and this works with any kind of template, not just website templates. Let's come back to the star folder actually by going back to home and then finding my projects, folders, and I'm gonna click on the star folder. And here I can find the three different templates that I have been starring from the template library. So templates cannot be added to a custom folder, but they can be starred and therefore be found in the starred folder. So that is my tip number six, to use the star folder to store your favorite templates. The templates you come across and you think, oh, this is really cool. Unfortunately, you won't be able to create subfolders and create like 
very granular structure for your templates, but at least you can save them there and you can keep them handy for when you need them. My tip number seven is to use the search bar to find your assets, your folders, your designs that you have saved or maybe organized into your elaborated system that you just built. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, just use this good old search bar right here on the homepage. Let's say I'm looking for the Canva Master Course. Canva Master Course. Okay, so Canva will give me a bunch of different results and I can see I don't find anything related to my Canva master course right here. And that is because I'm searching the templates. Now, what you want to do is to click on this second tab right here that says your project. And once you do that, you will be searching this time, not in the Canva library, but in your very own folders. Okay, your stuff. So I can see a bunch of different results here and also folders. I have a folder called 2022 Canva Master Course. So let's click here. And now I am directly inside the appropriate folder. So from here, I can continue my search. I could search for uh, section one, lecture five. Okay, and then there you go. Because I have used a very specific way of naming my projects, that naming convention that is so important, I can surface any document very easily with search. No more scrolling and like searching for the right thing on the home page. You can search directly because you know the structure of the titles that you're using and you know the type of folders you have created. So very easily you can access your stuff and yeah, you just save a bunch of time. My tip number eight is to star the folders you need to quickly access. Okay, what are you talking about, Ronnie? You just talked about starring and you said that we should keep the stars for the templates. Yes, but you can quickly access a few of your folders. You see this area right here of my homepage. I have starred the 2022 Canva Master Course, my Bitmoji folder, Ronnie, the Rondi's Bitmoji and Ronnie's Bitmojis, okay? What the heck is that? Well, let me show you by heading back to your projects. So the first one that is right here is the 2022 Canva Master Course. So let's go have a look there. It is under Ronnie's courses. This is the folder right here and we can see this little yellow star right here. And if I hover over it, it says unstar folder. So if I unstar it, you see it disappeared. Let's star it back and then now it's there again and I can drag and drop this to reorganize them. So starring a folder will allow you to actually pin it to your homepage right here, to your menu, to your left side menu. I'm gonna unstar uh, the Bitmojis right here. So you can either like click here on the cross, on the X to close it, or you could go back to the folder. For example, these are under assets, Bitmojis probably, and Ronnie's Bitmojis. See, if I star it again, then my Bitmojis will be there, okay? I'm not gonna star this for now. I'm gonna go to my project and see if I can maybe star some stuff here. I'm gonna star my webinars, okay? Because this is something I very often need to access. So let's just start this one right here. And I'm gonna start another one that I would be using all of the time. That would be probably my assets. So I'm gonna click on assets and start this. And now I have created these three shortcuts right here that will always live right there on the sidebar. And it is super easy for me to access. So if I'm on the home page, I can really just click on them and access my stuff super easily. All right, guys, we are moving down our list of tips here. We have two more to go, but hey, let's take a second. Like if you think this tutorial has been useful so far that I've helped you with my tips, please smash the like button. Gently smash the like button. Don't break your computer and subscribe to the channel because we love to keep in touch with you guys. We have two new tutorials every day, one from me, one from Diana, and we'd love for you to become a member of the tribe. Also, leave us a comment. Tell me what is your favorite tip today. I love to read your comments. I do this every day with my favorite cup of coffee. So yeah, let's start a conversation. And now back to the tutorial for the last two tips. My tip number nine is to share relevant folders with your team. That is if you are working with a team, obviously. But let me show you how to share a folder with your team. So let's say, for example, 
I want to share this asset folder. So everything that I have here, I want to share all of that with the rest of my team. So I'm going to click on share. And then right here at the bottom, I can see team Randy. So if I click on this little drop down arrow right here, for now it is not shared. You see the eye and it's crossed. So it is not shared with the team. So I could share it with the team so that they can edit and share or they can edit, they can view. So I can select whatever I want here. So let's click on edit, for example, they can click and edit this and then I can share and then I can notify my team members. If I tick that box, they will receive a Canva notification, I believe, maybe also an email. I don't need to do that. I don't need to spam them. And I can just click on share folder and this folder will be shared with the rest of my team. Very easy. If I just want to share this asset folder with Diana, I could just type in Diana's email address in this box right here and click on done. So that is how you share a specific folder. And if you share a folder that has subfolders, everything that is underneath that main folder that you're sharing is going to be shared as well. So just keep that in mind. And then my last tip for you guys today is to declutter your folders, okay? This is where the Marie Kondo part kicks in really bad. You need to kiss goodbye to a bunch of old assets that you're not using anymore, okay? So use the Marie Kondo method, like grab every single piece of asset that you find in your Canva. Does that bring me joy anymore? No, goodbye. Okay, delete. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so your folders, they should be pretty much taken care of at this stage of the tutorial. But what's more important is mostly the other tabs right here of the, your project. And mostly the design tab, the images, and the videos. Okay, so if you're like me, it, it's, it's a mess. Right here, I have so many videos. Most of them are not relevant anymore, so, I really should declutter this folder right here. Images, images is probably the worst because this is everything you have uploaded to Canva. So I really suggest like you go way down and then you start decluttering. So from here, decluttering could mean a few different things, okay? It could mean you will be deleting your photos, okay? So deleting a photo, like you click on it and you just send to trash. It could mean moving them to appropriate folders, Okay, like going deeper, organizing and just uh, moving stuff around. For example, this one right here, I could probably move that to the trash can. Okay, delete it. Okay, uh, same with all these comments right here. There's a bunch of work. I'm not going to do that right now, though I should do it and I promise I will do it. For example, these icons right here, these thumbnails, all of this stuff should probably be moving to trash. One thing I want to tell you, and I think you should be aware of that, is that when you move assets to your trash can, these assets will live in the trash can for 30 days and then will be permanently deleted by Canva automatically after 30 days. So if you, by mistake, put something in your trash, you can always come back and restore it. But if you wait 30 days, it will be gone forever. So just keep that in mind as well. So these were my 10 tips for you to organize your Canva account. I'm going to leave a button right here with our affiliate link if you want to try Canva Pro for free for 45 days and another video right there about setting up your brand kit. Thank you for watching until the end and I will see you in the next video.